Did you know Africa is splitting in two? Yes, you heard it right. Africa, the second largest continent on our planet, is gradually tearing apart. This isn't a sudden event, but rather a slow and steady process that's been happening for millions of years, right beneath our feet. Let's introduce you to the main player in this geological drama, the East African Rift. This is a tectonic rift that stretches a whopping 3,000 kilometers, from the Red Sea all the way to Mozambique. The East African Rift is essentially a boundary where the African plate, one of the major tectonic plates that make up Earth's surface, is splitting into two new plates, the Somali and the Nubian plates. This rift isn't just a line on a map. It's a dynamic, active region that's constantly changing due to the forces deep within our planet. These forces are slowly pulling the Somali and Nubian plates apart, causing the African continent to split in two. Now, you might be wondering, how do we know all this? Well, the answer lies in a large crack that appeared in southwestern Kenya in 2018. This crack, which stretches several kilometers long and is several meters wide, brought the world's attention to the East African Rift. It was a stark and visible reminder of the powerful geological forces at play. However, it's important to note that this crack isn't the cause of the split. Instead, it's a symptom of the larger underlying process of continental rifting that's happening beneath the surface. And this process isn't just about the splitting of the African continent. It's about the birth of new geological features, including potentially a new ocean basin. So what's causing this split? Let's dive deeper into the geological processes at play. Our story begins around 35 million years ago with the birth of the East African Rift. As intriguing as it sounds, the birth of this rift wasn't a sudden occurrence, but a gradual process driven by the dynamic nature of our planet. In the heart of Africa, beneath the surface, the tectonic plates were on the move. The African plate, a colossal slab of the Earth's crust and upper mantle, began to split into two smaller plates, the Somali and the Nubian. This shift was caused by heat plumes rising from deep within the Earth's mantle, the semi-fluid layer beneath the crust. As these heat plumes ascended, they caused the overlying lithosphere, the rigid outermost shell of our planet, to dome upwards, thin out and eventually fracture, giving birth to the East African Rift. This process, though it may sound dramatic, is as natural as the ebb and flow of the tides or the changing of the seasons. Along the length of the rift, volcanic activity became a common occurrence. The heat from the mantle plumes not only caused the crust to split, but also melted parts of it, leading to the formation of magma. This magma, under immense pressure, forced its way to the surface, forming volcanoes and further contributing to the widening of the rift. Over time, the rift has continued to widen, albeit at a slow pace. Currently, it's expanding at a rate of about a quarter of an inch per year. That's approximately the thickness of six stacked pennies. While this may not sound like much, remember that this process has been ongoing for millions of years and is still continuing today. The rift is now expanding at a slow but steady pace, reshaping the African continent as we know it. This remarkable geological phenomenon is a testament to the ever-changing nature of our planet. A reminder that even the ground beneath our feet isn't as permanent as we might think. The story of the East African Rift is still being written and only time will reveal the final chapters. Now let's talk about a significant player in this geological drama, the African Superswell. This isn't a term you'll find in your everyday conversation, so let's break it down. The African Superswell refers to an area in the Earth's mantle that's hotter and more buoyant than its surroundings. Think of it as a gigantic, slow-moving heat wave deep beneath the surface of our planet. And where does this super swell reside? Right beneath Africa, of course. This region of increased heat causes the elevation of the African continent to be higher than it would be otherwise, hence the term super swell. But more importantly, it plays a pivotal role in the formation of the East African Rift. Here's how. The heat from the African super swell pushes up against the Earth's lithosphere. That's the rigid outer part of the Earth, consisting of the crust and upper mantle. The pressure exerted by the superswell causes the lithosphere to stretch and thin out. Over time, this thinning can lead to a rupture, a break in the Earth's crust. 
And that, my friends, is how a rift is born. But the African super swell doesn't stop there. Oh no, it's a force of nature and it's not done until it's done. The heat and pressure continue to work their magic, causing the rift to widen over time. This process known as rifting is slow and relentless and it's happening right now beneath our feet. So, you see, the African superswell isn't just a hotspot in the Earth's mantle, it's a powerful geological force that's slowly reshaping our planet. It's contributing to the separation of the Somali and Nubian plates, and it's a key player in the potential creation of a new ocean basin. This mighty force beneath our feet is slowly but surely pulling Africa apart, leading to seismic activity and volcanic eruptions. So, what does the future hold? Could we be looking at the birth of a new ocean? Well, according to some geologists, that might not be as far-fetched as it sounds. The East African Rift, a network of valleys stretching thousands of miles from the Red Sea to Mozambique, is slowly pulling Africa apart due to the movement of tectonic plates. The Somali plate is gradually separating from the Nubian plate, creating a rift system that is causing the continent to split. But it's not just a matter of a continent breaking apart, this geological phenomenon could eventually lead to the formation of a new ocean basin. Let's delve a little deeper into that. As the Somali and Nubian plates continue to move apart, a gap is forming between them. This gap or rift is gradually filling with magma from beneath the Earth's crust, causing the rift to widen and deepen over time. This process is largely due to heat from the Earth's mantle, leading to volcanic activity and the gradual widening of the rift. Now here's where it gets really interesting. If this process continues and the rift continues to expand, it could eventually become large enough to allow seawater to flow in from the Indian Ocean. This would create a new body of water, effectively splitting the African continent and turning parts of Ethiopia and Somalia into a large island in the Indian Ocean. This might sound like something out of a science fiction novel, but it's a real possibility that geologists are seriously considering. The East African Rift provides a unique window into the complex processes of continental rifting and ocean basin formation, and it's a fascinating subject of study for scientists around the world. However, this monumental transformation won't happen overnight. We are talking about a process that will take tens of millions of years. But who knows, maybe in the far, far future, maps of the world will feature a new ocean where the African continent once stood. Let's take a moment to recap what we've learned about Africa's Great Split. We started our journey by addressing the intriguing phenomenon of the East African Rift, a tectonic marvel stretching over 3,000 kilometers. This rift, which is gradually splitting the African plate into the Somali and Nubian plates, has been the center of geologic attention for years. We delved into the birth of the East African Rift, a process that started about 35 million years ago. The rift is a product of heat plumes from the Earth's mantle leading to volcanic activity and the gradual widening of the rift. This process, though slow, is continuously shaping the geographical layout of the African continent, a testament to the dynamic nature of our planet. Our exploration then took us to the role of the African Superswell a mantle plume contributing to the rift formation. This super swell is a significant player in the tectonic ballet that's causing the African plate to slowly tear itself apart. We then ventured into the possibility of a new ocean being born as a result of this tectonic activity. While this might seem like a plot from a science fiction novel, it's a potential reality that could occur over millions of years. Parts of Ethiopia and Somalia could become a large island in the Indian Ocean, a fascinating prospect indeed. However, it's important to remember that continental rifting is a slow and largely imperceptible process. These changes occur at a glacial pace, stretching over tens of millions of years. The rift is currently expanding at a rate of just 7 millimeters per year, barely noticeable to us, but significant in geological terms. So, next time you look at a map of Africa, remember, it's a continent on the move being reshaped by the relentless forces of nature.